Okay, hi everyone. I don't know if this is going to work. I haven't been up, able to upload videos because I simply don't have the money to renew the screen recorder that I use and I've lost all my videos that I've made in the process because it was all accessed on their cloud. So, you know, like it's 40 or 50 bucks, like um, it says, but it's actually American, which is double. So I just don't have it and I don't even do Christmas. It's just bills. We don't believe in buying presents and we don't do Christmas, so it's not Christmas, it's just no money. But anyway, what I want to share with everyone is this, uh, it was on the YouTube Creator um, YouTube Studio page, and I don't know if anyone, like, the creators out there actually pay attention to what they share, but this was on the 15th of October, Okay, and the thing that stood out to me is they said to curb the hate and harassment on YouTube, changing the content allowed conspiracy theories and different ways of hate speech. Quote, remove more conspiracy theories content that justifies uh, real world violence. And one example is content that threatens or harass someone by suggesting they are complicit in harmful conspiracies. And as always, context matters. So more, so news coverage on these issues or content discussing them without ta targeting individuals or a protected group may stay up. So they begin enforcing this policy um, the 15th of October. Now it was just before those things that are going on over there at the moment. So let's have a quick look at this. Managing misinformation and harmful conspiracy theories is challenging because the content always shifting and evolving. To address these kinds of contexts effectively, it's crucial that our teams continually review and update our policy systems to reflect the frequent changes. Today we are taking another step in the effort to curb hate and harassment by removing more content to justify the real world violence. This builds on our work over the last several years to strengthen and involve our politics politics and enforcement. Why are they into politics, you know, like anyway, work on that work that has been organized around four pillars, removing volatile content, reducing the spread full of harmful misinformation and raising authoritative voices and rewarding trusted creators. So unless you fall in those categories, yeah. But doesn't this sound like unreal, like they're four pillars, you know, like, yeah, come on. In fact, when we looked at the QAnon content, we saw that the number of views that come from non-subscribe recommendations to, Q, to prominent Q-related channels dropped by over 80% since January 2019. Nearly two years ago, we took a major step to limit the reach of harmful misinformation by updating our recommendation systems. This resulted in a 70% drop in views coming from our search and discovery system. In fact, when we looked at the QAnon content, we saw that the number of views that come from non-subscribed recommendations to prominent q related channels dropped by over 80% January 2019. Additionally, we removed tens of thousands of QAnon videos and terminated hundreds of channels under our existing policies, particularly those that explicitly threaten violence or deny the existence of major violent events. All of this work has been pivotal in curbing the research. Uh, pivotal in curbing the research reach of harmful conspiracies, but these. There's even more we can do to address certain conspiracy theories that would justify the real world violence like QAnon. Today we are further expanding both our hate and harassment policies to prohibit content that targets an individual group with conspiracy theories that have been used to justify real world violence. One example would be the content that threatens or harass harasses someone by suggesting they are complacent in one of the harmful conspiracies, such as QAnon or Pizzagate. Oh, excuse me. As always, context matters. So, news coverage and these issues, excuse me, or content discussing them without individual targeting, without in targeting individuals or protected groups may stay up. We will begin enforcing the updated policy today and we will ramp up in some weeks to come. Due to the evolving nature and shifting tactics of groups promoting these conspiracy theories, we'll continue to adapt our policies to stay current and remain committed to taking the steps needed to live up to this responsible responsibility. 
So, I don't know if lots of people saw that, but, um, yeah, we're seeing why lots of channels are just disappearing for no real reason, you know. Um, I'm not going to say a few things because I know it'll get bumped off or, or shut down, but uh, you can take it with a grain of salt or you can take it seriously because this affects a lot of people. Wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Raise your vibration.